The coaching carousel is in full swing and the latest move may be a surprise. Purdue head coach Jeff Brom is reportedly finalizing a deal to return to Louisville as its next head coach. Now Brom grew up in Louisville and quarterbacked the Cardinals in the early 90s. Now this comes just days after former Cardinals head coach Scott Satterfield made the move to Cincinnati. All right, JP. Now, if you remember, Brom, he was actually offered the Louisville job back in 2018, yeah. turned it down. So why does it make sense for him to be the head coach now? Uh, it's, it's a really tough one because as you look at the jobs between Purdue and Louisville, it doesn't seem like it's a big step up, right? Maybe people say that there's an easier path to a college football playoff in an expanded format. I would agree with that. Uh, maybe people say it's an easier path to winning the conference. I would certainly agree with that. But when you look at the profiles, of the programs, it doesn't seem like a huge step up, but it's all the things that you mentioned. First off, Jeff Brom had a heck of a year at Purdue this year. He followed up a year in last year where they won nine games, right? So back to back, two great years. They played for a Big Ten championship just a week ago. So he had exceeded expectations for what that program could be. Then you add in all the other factors you talk about. He was born there. He played his college ball there. He's in their ring of honor. Like, this is a guy who had an attraction to go back home. And now is the time that makes sense for him to do so. Well, in the Big Ten, you know, with how well teams are playing, you know, maybe getting guys to come to Purdue, it might be harder, would you say, maybe than getting guys to come to the ACC and at a school like Louisville? I, it, it's difficult, but I'll tell you the one thing that the Big Ten has working for him right now is that TV deal they just did, it's a lot of money flowing through those athletic departments. Mm -hmm. What you're going to start to see, and it's already happening, is new facilities. These teams are investing a ton in facilities. Purdue's got facilities right now, so that's going to be a benefit to them. And then they can start paying coaches proper salaries, and I think that's going to be the biggest thing for this Purdue job is you start to go down and look at what their coordinators are getting paid, for example, and, um, you know, at Penn State and Ohio State and Michigan and even Illinois over there in the Big Ten West, uh, probably Wisconsin and Nebraska coming up too, million-dollar coordinators coaching yeah. at those schools. Purdue was not paying their coordinators. I think they were paying their coordinators half that amount of money. That's a huge difference now. If they can increase the coaching salary pool, they're going to have money to pay the head coach. The facilities are already doing well there. It becomes an attractive spot for a head coaching candidate.